Friedrich continued, we must pray the prayer of Sabaoth when we go into these battles, my alliance is with heaven, where dwell those who reside in the holy high realms. It is to them I commit this battle, and, they will fight for me. Selah. Friedrich then shouted. You Sisahau. They looked at Friedrich and he smiled, it means, never forget. They all shout, you Sisahau. For hours, Dark Eagle and his family, alongside Wanyanyekavu and the warriors, stayed up all night organizing their plans and deciding what to do and how to do it. After the meeting, everyone was tired, but they all agreed with this new plan. Wanyanyekavu walked into his room and stared at the candles as he sat on the corner of his bed. Thoughts rushed through his mind. He grabbed his notepad and wrote, Lost and Found. Looking for the lost and found, to see if I need, to recover a couple of things. Took two people along with me, to help me see. We walk up an escalator, then took some zigzagging steps. Followed by some sliding hallways. At the end of the hallways was a sign. Lost and found. I saw a young lady, I haven't seen in 21 years. Why didn't you come through the side doors, you're messing up my floors. I replied, all these years, you still yelling, fussing, and cursing. As I rushed to go toward the back, the sight of her brought back pain, betrayal, and tears. On my way there, I see someone I hadn't seen in 15 years. A rude bastard, who was mean. I asked, why are you still mad? He replied, oh, you're bad. Confused look on my face, as he rushed to get a gat. Started shooting up the place, I felt disgrace. Told my friends, who were with me then, let's get out of this place. But I thought you wanted to find something you lost, one said. I replied with a smile. I just realized, I didn't lose anything, I dropped those things on purpose. Because they hindered my life. As crazy as it sounds. I lost them, so. I could be found. He wrote, Oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh my, was the cry of an old man I once knew. He prayed to the father about his blessings, his trials, that he endured during his lifetime. Eighty years in the world, some good and of course, some bad. Many sad. Oh me, oh my, was his reply. Remembering the days, frustrations in life. But at all times he had a smile, etched upon his face. Now, as I listen to him pray, having that conversation with his maker. Thinking he's going to leave soon, one day. Oh me oh my. I sigh. To think about him. What happened to him? It seemed like it was just the other day, a stroke rushed across his heart. Lost one of his legs. Now, praying today. I sit in his house seeing the grandkids playing. His accomplishments are great and many years have passed. Hoping one day, I can say, before I die. Oh me oh my.